good afternoon this is discovering what channel i am happy here for your comments and other things you make with my video and also i'm very happy to bring out this video to you today because i know one of the reasons why this channel exists is to bring to notice and your knowledge things you need to know as long as discovering is concerned the latest discovering the world and those things you need to have knowledge on so please feel free to subscribe in discovering world channel because this is the channel that brings the latest to you today we're going to talk about something very important very important because i have received a lot of questions on what is the difference between vata and ups from my subscriber as the same question said mr steven what is the difference between Invata and ups and I know as a researcher, I need to go more and to also bring to my knowledge, to my viewer knowledge, what the tools are. First of all, you have to know what, what, um, what a inverter is and what UPS is. Because you need, if you know the two, you can know, you can put it to yourself, you can have, you can explain, you can tell somebody the difference between the two. First of all, what is UPS? UPS is not Korea, as many of you would think that I'm talking about you, Korea, UPS, Korea. No, no, no. UPS Korea is a company, it's a company that uses uh, to move maize. But here, what we're about uh, what I mean, UPS is uh, an uninterrupted power supply. You can see it here, uh, UPS. It means uninterrupted power supply. This is a device, this is a PC uh, device. So it means uninterrupted power supply. Uninterrupted power supply that provide stable power to the to equipment. Many of us we are used to desktop computers. You know that you can before you to have if you don't have a stable if you're in an area where there's no stable power supply or where there's a switch off mostly in countries like African and sometimes Indians like Russians. If no, if you are into a system where there is no power supply, you know that there is always outage. If you don't have a storage or a computer that doesn't store anything, maybe you are using desktop and not, I'm not talking about laptop because laptop has its own batteries. But if you are using desktop and you don't store, you don't have your backup or something backup. When there is voltage, when there is current out atom, then the voltage is out. When there is a power shortage. You, are, you lost everything, your data gone, everything. So what UPS does is to store that current. So that if there's power outage, the voltage in the UPS is being used to keep your system for a short time, not more than between 10 or 20 minutes. Long time, one hour, depending on the power, the, the strength of your batteries. So that is what UPS here means in this as this content. So it helps to switch our power from from different device from this from the source to the to the to its own source and to the other source to the for you to you to, for you to use that's why I talk about it it means switching time from power cut to batteries you talk back to batteries power is very less than to and critical equipment like computer desktop and all that so what UPS does is to just store current for you it store current for you and when there's power voltage out then it gives you the current. Now the inverter now, what inverter does, I've explained in one of my videos that inverter is to convert it convert the current from the DC point to AC point because DC point is the battery's point. AC point is where your computers and other things devices can use like television, fridge, air conditioner can use. So your television cannot use a, a DC because the voltage DC voltage is too low so it's AC use so this is where we have inverter now and now we are going to talk about what the difference in between the UPS and inverter now take the difference because I'm going to explain very important the two you see an inverter is needed because the batteries can only store DC current what does that mean the batteries in your UPS store DC, DC current. So, since the DC current is what is in the batteries, and your computer does not use DC current, you will need a device. And that device is what we call inverter. So, in other words, in every UPS, 
there is inverter. You understand? I don't know if you understand. In every UPS, there is inverter. That is why you see here this in the diagram. I explain it here very well. I say UPS is equal to battery charger plus inverter. So question me that you don't have you, you, before you to have for you to have a UPS functioning, you must have a battery that charge the I have a battery charger that charge the batteries and also you have inverter. That is why if you look at the second line, I say UPS is nothing but inverter with inbuilt battery charger. UPS is nothing but what inverter and inverter with what with inbuilt battery charger. That's which means that you know inverter does not store current. Inverter only convert current. Now UPS in itself is a bar inverter that with input batteries. That is mean UPS is inverter. You can saw somebody say UPS is inverter. Right? If I say UPS is inverter, I'm not wrong. Why? Because UPS is inverter with input batteries. So if you remove inverter from UPS, you can have you can have UPS. That is what you have to know. If you remove inverter from UPS, you can't have UPS because UPS on its own cannot function without inverter. Inverter function is to convert. UPS only have the batteries which store current. So the current in the batteries cannot transmit in your computer, cannot work in your computer. So you need inverter. That's why I say UPS is nothing but inbuilt inverter. You know the what if you go to the next diagram I can explain it better here. I say look at it, say running on a normal AC power. Now look at what we have here now. This is a typical UPS system. Now this is charger. That is you plug the UPS to the wall to the power source. Just what I'm talking about, you use UPS, I will be know what UPS is about. Some of us who have used UPS, if you don't have UPS, maybe in the next video I'm going to demonstrate a typical about UPS in my listen. This is UPS. Now UPS, this UPS is connected to the power source, which is AC power source. Now in the AC power source here, which is we have this block here, this is the block, this, the AC voltage moves. And when it moves, there is a point here, this in this point. In this point now, the AC voltage is converted toward DC because remember UPS contains a battery and the batteries cannot charge with a AC current. The battery is charged with DC current because there is the voltage rate of AC is very high. So you need a device that would change it from a that point where it's so high to a lower point. That is why you have this point. Have you have this point here, which is charger, which convert the voltage here to convert it to the battery's level, the battery voltage now. You see, that is where you see from this point here, where you have this line to this point, is the battery voltage which charges the batteries. So, in other words, the UPS is has both inverter in both form. So you can see that EPS is also convert current. So you, you convert this voltage now to the battery's form. Then in this point now, where you have this point that this is where the battery is stored, the the inverter here has to now the voltage here from this inverter the inverter to move, which is the battery's voltage is this now. Yes we have this one this DC voltage now. Yeah it's DC. So the DC voltage now in this point had to be converted to AC point where your devices you use. Let me explain it in the in a bit of fun because I don't know not really an excuse. Look at what we have now. This is AC voltage in this point. When you come to the UPS charger, which charge the batteries because remember UPS has an in charger that helps to charge batteries. I repeat myself UPS has an in charger that helps to charge the batteries. Now, when the battery is charged and is full, UPS has an inbuilt inverter that helps to convert that helps to convert the the the, the, vo the DC voltage to AC voltage, which the distant which the, the 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 devices will use. So that's what we have. I have here charger, batteries, 
the voltage will add inverter they have power so, so this is your television source and this is your source power this is your normal source power that gives out the UPS so when the voltage moves to this point when you come to this point the voltage is converted to batteries voltage format then from this point uh, it charges the batteries and when the battery is being charged the batteries now release its voltage here which is this DC voltage to this device for this man here with this device and then from this device now the voltage is converted again from DC to AC so we have AC here when you come to this point it becomes DC when you come to this point is DC and when you reach this point it's converted to AC we have AC AC that's where we have AC AC so you now know how the UPS work and how the, the inverter works so the inverter itself has an so UPS itself has an inbuilt devices the inbuilt inverter so every UPS you have in the very you have in your house if you open it you see that there is an inbuilt uh, devices there is the inbuilt inverter that's why I say UPS first convert AC for AC to DC UPS first convert AC to DC power to charge the batteries before the inbuilt inverter convert the DC power to AC power and at this AC power is supplied to local load that is your television, the TV reach, or whatever it is used on a computer. And so, however, UPS monitor the input voltage level and process it in terms in terms of voltage regulation. So it also helps. So if you look at now we have UPS battery charger plus inverter. So the two work together. UPS battery charger and the inverter. So you charge, you see the voltage. It's use it to convert it to a battery format, charge the batteries, then the battery leads it to inverter, better convert it to what you can use. So this is simple I can explain about UPS and inverter. So if you know the difference that the UPS is just to store the voltage, the inverter converts. So the two of them work together. I can conclude that UPS and inverter are brother and sister. Or you can say UPS or you can say that inverter is UPS or UPS is an inverter with batteries. If you tell somebody say UPS is an inverter with batteries, then you are not wrong. Yes. You can go and you can you can comment, you can give me a comment in my channel below. Just just click subscribe here. Subscribe and then give me comment. I have I can defend myself anywhere. UPS is an inverter with batteries. So thank you for watching this video. Please don't fail to subscribe to this channel for the next video because I still have more videos to produce as question coming as my subscribers keep asking to produce a video in area and also feel free to ask me to produce a video in area you know that you have a question or you want to have a knowledge on the broker area, you are welcome. Thank you very much. I know many of you say okay, very soon we are going to more protocols of this area, but for now we have to have a knowledge on what UPS is and what inverter is. Thank you very much.